Welcome back to part two of Explore the Mystery Boxes. Again, this is a collection of short stories all about mystery boxes. If you like it, there's a whole other set of Explorer books with about different topics. Today we're looking at the second story, Spring Cleaning, by Dave Roman and Raina Togemeyer. Here we go. Oliver, you haven't played with most of those toys since kindergarten. But Dad... No buts. I want this closet cleaned out by tomorrow. You know, bro, you could sell some of this stuff on eBay. I bet you can make enough money to afford some new video games, like Skull Thumper 2. You're the one who wants that game. Clean out your own closet. Hey, Roland, do you recognize this puzzle box? Never seen it. Sell it. Flash. Upload. Click. Ding dong. The box. Is it still for sale? How did you get here so quick? I didn't even put an address in my post. Uh, well, I've got a special app on my phone. Anyway, I'm willing to pay $100 for that box. $100? Yes, in real money. I can double whatever this guy is offering. Shove. Slam. Do we have a deal? I don't know if... Madam, there's no need to be rude. I have as much right to do business here as any wizard. Wizard? No, sir. I'm sure we can come to an agreeable arrangement. If you'll give me a ballpark figure. What does the box even do? I've got 200. Do I hear three? Woof. Wizards these days. Resorting to using money. Have you no pride? My good lad, I am prepared to offer you any wish your heart might desire. Perhaps a pet unicorn? Does he look like the type of kid who wants a unicorn? I can make you taller and give you bat wings. Boys love bat wings. That's enough. Ribbit. Um, maybe we could all... Excuse me. Hello? Hide me, Oliver. These wizards are nuts. Psst. Hey, Oliver. Oh, hi, Valerie. What you got there? I'll tell you in your house, okay? Sure. Mind if I take a closer look? I'm not sure if... You can trust me. I'm an expert at these types of things. My parents think I'm crazy, but I plan to major in advanced mystical research when I go to college. How did those wizards find me? You can't put magical objects on the internet without stuff like this happening. A lot of wizards troll around, waiting for lost artifacts to reveal themselves. My guess is that your box is one of these. Enchanted with living, magical sor living magic, sorcerers use them to cross into various dimensions. A box only works with its partner. Supposedly, these matching sets were all scattered and lost during some wizard war way back in the day. Poor thing, all these years, trapped in our world. All he wants is a safe place to rest. That must be why he chose your messy closet. Probably thought you'd never notice with all your other junk. It's a girl? How can you tell? I heard her voice in my head. She knows my name. She's tired of crazy wizard shenanigans. You think she can hide out here? My house is too close to yours. They'll check here eventually. And as much as I love magic, my parents would kill me. What if we dig a really deep hole somewhere or hide her at the bottom of the ocean? Living magic means it's alive. She could suffocate or drown. Plus, I read these boxes get lonely being only half a pair. They like to be around other stuff. What about a museum or an antique store? I know. Hi, Aunt Ellen. We're going to go downstairs and play some skee ball. Who's your friend? She's pretty. Make sure she doesn't trip over my porcelain porpoises. When you said your aunt was a pack rat, you were not kidding. Where should we hide you? Crash. 
It's no use trying to hide the box. I happen to be a detective as well as a wizard. Hurry, look over there. I think they recognize each other. This vase, it's another box. Pop. My love, I've lost hope of ever finding you again. Thank you, Oliver and Valerie. Thank you both. Whoosh. Poof. What just happened? They combine powers to move to another dimension where they can hide together. Just a theory. Hmm. Children, do you know these characters? Not intentionally. Madam, I am willing to offer you $5,000 for this entire lot of goods. You're too late. The box is long gone. $10,000, what do you say? You could buy twice as much junk, er, beautiful antiques with that. Are you kidding? This painting alone is worth $10,000. Mine, I saw it first. The end. That's it for today. I'll see you next time for The Keeper's Treasure.